It's now my pleasure to introduce Hornets General Manager Mitch Kupchak as well as PJ Washington for opening statements before we take questions from the media. Uh, th thank you, Sam. Well, well done. Uh, not a whole lot I could add to that. Um, you know, last Tuesday we did sign uh, PJ back to a multi-year deal, and four years ago we drafted uh, PJ. And I would say uh, every year he's been with us. Um, he's been a pleasure to work with. Uh, he's gotten much better um, on the court statistically. You know, you just got to look at the book to see that. But I will say in terms of growth as a, a very young man when he got here, and he's still, I think you said 25, right? So he's still a young man. Um, but his growth, you know, on and off the court has, has been tremendous. And I would say that he is a consummate professional, the kind of player that we want in Charlotte. Um, and I'm hopeful that um, his play on the court will continue to improve every year. Uh, there's no reason why, you know, it shouldn't. You know, um, he's in the gym, he works hard, he takes the game serious. He's got a good support group who is here today in the front row, his family. So um, I'm very happy that we got the deal done. He's been in the gym every day um, since he signed. He signed on Tuesday and Wednesday morning he was in the gym. So um, congratulations to PJ, congratulations to his family. And at this time I'd just like to introduce um, PJ, um, who will be here for a bunch more years. Thank you. Um, I want to thank everybody for coming out and uh, supporting me. Um, I love the city of Charlotte and I'm just happy to be here for the next couple of years and uh, hopefully after that. So. Um, Anybody have questions? Uh, PJ, in terms of why this deal for this amount of time and, and why this franchise, what was it about getting this done in this fashion that made you want to stay in Charlotte for this time? Uh, for me, I always wanted to stay in Charlotte. Um, it was no doubt about that. Um, I think it was a great that's deal. Not, I that's think. not what your agent and your, your agents were saying. <laughs> 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 it's the first I heard of that. <laughs> But, yeah, I mean, like I said, I definitely wanted to stay here. So, for me, um, it was just great. Um, obviously, signing in, it took a minute, but I think everybody's happy and we're glad we're on the same page. PJ, congratulations. Um, the front court unit has added a lot in the last couple of years. You, Mark, um, JT, Nick Richards. What do you like about how that group of guys has kind of come together and what do you feel like is going to be the identity of that front court now that you've got a, a handful of guys now uh, you know locked in for, for a few years I think it's going great um, everybody's been in the gym everybody's motivated uh, Nick JT and Mark they all have been in here so like I said I mean I'm just excited and I can't wait to for the season to start and for them to show what they've been working on as well PJ, you mentioned wanting to be here in Charlotte. What's it like knowing now that you're going to be you know, here long term, at least with the Melo and guys like that, you know, for years to come? Uh, it's going to be great. I mean, the Melo is obviously one of the best players in the league. Um, even we have a, a bunch of great players here with Gordon, Miles, the young guys. So I'm just excited to come in and see everybody. Um, and I'm just happy. I mean, like I said, I'm excited for the season and I'm excited for uh, all our work to show. For Mitch, just one follow-up. Just with the roster right now, with PJ being signed, just what do you think about just the roster overall and how does he fit in your mind to kind of help you guys with what you want to do moving forward here? Just so I understand, what do I think of the roster? Well, um, with PJ, that gives us, you know, 14 fully guaranteed contracts, right? And you're only allowed to have 15 during the season. So, you know, we haven't, you know, maxed out yet, uh, but we anticipate in the next couple of days, you know, signing, you know, a lot of players that might be, um, you know, Exhibit 10 players, players that we might want to get to Greensboro. And we do have that 15 spot still, um, you know, that we're going to either leave open uh, for training camp and let it play out that way. Uh, or if there's something that comes along in the next three or four weeks. So we still have some flexibility in terms of our roster. Financially, we have plenty of flexibility. But in terms of our roster, we've got some flexibility yet for a 15th player.
Mitch, how important was it to, after signing Miles to a one-year deal, important to get P.J. on a longer-term deal to, to at least have something that's insured on the roster at that spot beyond this year? Well, it's a good question. It, it was discussed, right? Yet, yet, you know, if it ended up where, um, you know, one of the most unusual things to ever happen would be to have two, two players sign, you know, require tenders, then that's what it would have taken, right? Uh, as I mentioned, we have plenty of financial flexibility, you know, going forward. Um, so even if that would have happened, you know, we feel that we could have figured it out next summer. Uh, but having said that, you know, to get a fair deal, you know, that, that we spent a lot of time trying to hammer out, um, probably led to a good result. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy that we have somebody, uh, considering that we do have some open ends next summer. So it's good to have P.J. on, on a multi-year deal. P.J., Mitch kind of mentioned it. It's been like a build and a process for you every year, kind of adding new things to your game, kind of layering things. What do you think is next for you uh, on the floor under this new contract? Uh, for me, uh, the biggest things I've been working on this summer is uh, getting more comfortable in the mid-range. I felt like uh, I'm a good three-point shooter, and last year I kind of did really good in going to the rim. So for me, I just want to be more comfortable uh, in my mid-range and uh, scoring on all three levels. Mitch, just with the negotiations with P.J. with this contract, did it take a little bit, I guess, longer than maybe you thought it would have? Just what was the holdup in your mind that maybe getting it done maybe sooner than maybe you would like to? Well, without going into great detail, right, being restricted free agent, you know, there's restrictions that come along with, you know, that kind of status. And quite frankly, just sometimes things take longer sometimes than they do other times. Um, but there was always, you know, a good intent, you know, from, you know, the negotiation. You know, nobody ever, you know, kind of went sideways. Everybody was very professional. They understood. We listened to each other. You know, took a couple of weeks off, got back on the phone. Uh, sometimes it just, it just takes longer. Um, but I think the key is, you know, on the um, representation side, um, they always were level-headed and listened and were always engaged, and, and I hope that, that we did the same thing. And when those things happen, then most times there's going to be a deal. All right, you guys are off the hook, I guess, till training camp. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Welcome back. Let's hear it one more time for P.J. Washington. <laughs>